Texas. The site for the Lakers. The free-flowing D'Angelo Russell with ice in his veins is the game plan for the task ahead at Toyota Center. Lakers, Rockets, our tip-off just moments away. Welcome, folks. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for the latest presentation of our NBA basketball. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And giving us the rundown from the sideline, David Aldridge. Now let's check out our starters for the Los Angeles Lakers. The guard spots filled by Russell and Reed. Down in the block, it's LeBron and Davis. And it's Hachimura in at the small forward position. And for the Rockets, at the guard position, Van Fleet and Green. The post pair form, it'll be Smith and Shengu. And it's Brooks in at the three spot. And these two teams are both aggressive attacking in transition. Well, you've got to play to your strengths, right? But really, the league in general is looking for early offense. These teams, no different. Reeves against Green. Reeves outside. Here's LeBron. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Jabari Smith picks one up. Look, the physicality has always stood out with LeBron. It's been obvious, but his basketball IQ is what makes him such a special, special player. I mean, he sees the game like very few ever have. And the first one at the line is good. You know, it's inevitable that a player's physical abilities diminish over the course of a career. But the thing that stands out to me about LeBron James is that he never lost his insatiable drive to win. Guys, if anything, he's gotten stronger. Both shots good from the strike. GA, if you look back at the Rockets' history, so many all-time greats have spent time there. Yeah, it's an impressive list, right? Olajuwon, Moses Malone, Calvin Murphy, and Harden. Houston's well represented in the Hall of Fame. Now James, following the miss by Fred Van Vliet from deep. Lakers passing it around. Hachimura, the pass to Davis. Reeves outside. From outside, off the mark. In the corner, Smith with it. Good. Great play by Green to set it up. Supreme confidence. Smith really stretches the floor with his ability to shoot. James finds Reeves. Davis with a screen on Green. Here's Reeves. And it's blocked by Shingu. And Vliet right side. Inside, here's Smith. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Smith's got five points so far. And the defense gets in Smith's face inside, but he shows real poise by not backing down. And here's James outside. Sinks the three-pointer. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Now, here's Green. Now, here's Shangu. Five to shoot. Smith, no good. Defense made an impact right there. Definitely got him uncomfortable going up with it. Good work defensively by Smith. Houston's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Pass to Shengun. Now here is Smith. Smith throwing the double team. Outside green. And it goes out of bounds. Fast touch by Green. And we got to take a second look to admire that outstanding block. Well, I like the fact that's intimidation right away. Got to show those shooters you're going to be in their face all night long.
here in the first. Just under two and a half minutes played so far. Let's send it over to David Aldridge, who caught up with head coach Shudoka. David? Now, LeBron, always number one on the scouting report. Coach said on top of being a physically dominant player, he's like an extra coach on the court, able to control the game with his basketball IQ alone. Kevin, a big challenge to handle the mental challenge of LeBron James. Back to you. Thank you, David. Now, here is Smith. Five points in the game. Shengun with the screen for Van Vliet. The Rockets again can't hit. Lakers have gone just one for five from the field to start the quarter. Out left to the wing. Outside, James. Boats it up for Davis. Got a piece of it. Van Vliet with it. He's picked up by Russell. Van Vliet can't get it to go. 11 feet away, and it's blocked by Shingun. Lots of athleticism for the long center. Shingun getting it done. Hachimura, the pass to Reeves. Six on the shot clock. Goes back up. And LeBron with the layup. LeBron James. James has got seven points in the game. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him out, so far. Out. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece Sorry. of their offense today. You can bank on that. And we've got a timeout called from Ime Yudoka. And coach has decided they need a moment to talk things over. Fleet outside to the middle. Here's Shengu. No good. And they can't put an end to this drought. Lakers have gone just two of seven so far. A little bit of a slow start for them. Good work there as it goes. Great feed from Davis. A big guy with nice vision. Here's Van Vliet. No scoring in this one. Smith sets the pick for Van Vliet over Russell. Here's Smith, and the dunk by Smith. And when he's on the floor, offensive rebounding is always going to be a strength for him. Greg, he keeps so many possessions alive, doesn't he? And you know, those second-chance opportunities can be game-changing. He represents so much value to this team because of what he does. I tell you what, it's, it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat. Pass to Shengun. Over Davis. Shingun with the bucket. And when he rises up, he knows he's probably going to get a clean look. It's a matter of executing. You know, for me, it doesn't get any better than seeing big fellows who can use the mid-range jumper to their advantage. Here's LeBron. It's rebounded by Houston. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over Shengun against James. No good from the wing. Lakers have gone 4 of 10 shooting the ball here in the first quarter. And it's Davis finishing it off. I don't know what to do about that. Davis just powering it down. Van Vliet against Russell. Van Vliet outside. And the wide open shot from Green. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Lakers leading by four. Reeves with it. Now Green defending. Reeves gets the bucket. Reeves has got his second basket. And it's Van Vliet with the ball for the Houston Rockets. Smith outside. Back to Van Vliet. Pass to Brooks. Houston moving the ball around. Shot clock at five. Van Vliet kicks to Smith. There's Green with the three. Hachimura grabs the miss. 
the Lakers on offense. They're on a 13 to 4 run. And here's Russell. And it's Davis at the elbow. No good on the shot. Great defense that time from Shengu. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Here's Smith. Tries again. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Hey, for a big like Shangun, you need that pump fake in your arsenal. The Rockets shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. First free throw is good. Incredible for his age. The decision making of Shengun GA is very impressive. So calm when he sees a double coming. Reads and reacts with ease when he's on the block or at the nail. Reminds you of a young Jokic with how he sees the game. Houston making a switch here. Thompson's checked in. Shengun hits from both. You can almost see the hunger and focus in the eyes of Alperon Shangun. I mean, this guy completely locked in on doing as much as he can for his team when he's out there. And J.J. Redick is called timeout. He's going to have a discussion here on the sideline. Cam Whitmore, he's checked in for the Rockets. Hachimura finds Vanderbilt. Back to Hachimura. Pass to Reeves. Now Hachimura. He's looking for Russell and finds him. Just five on the clock. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. And the Lakers lead by six. Great awareness. Shot clock ticking down. D'Angelo to the rescue. Van Vliet passes to Smith. Back to Van Vliet over Russell. And the shot is good, dropping in off the front of the rim. You know, the defense has to be better. I mean, you can't give up that look. Russell kicks to Hachimura. On the wing, James. Good, and this goes to Russell. James has got 11 points. Well, that's exactly where LeBron wants to go. Almost unstoppable once he gets the ball in the paint area. Thompson against Hachimur. Van Vliet wide open. Hits it from three-point range. He's got five. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Also looking it over. Pass to Vanderbilt. It's rebounded by Houston. Smith's got his fourth rebound in this one. Hachimura against Thompson. Here's Green. At the elbow, Smith. Rebounded by the Lakers. It does not get much easier than that, but somehow he came up empty there. Oh! oh. Man, I like seeing LeBron throw it down, especially when he decides to do it with a little flavor. Rockets trail by five. Thompson dishes to Green. Back to Thompson. Green against Reeves. And Moore sends a screen for Green. Over Reeves. And Green gets it to go. I like when Green aggressively hunts his shot. He's a very impressive offensive player for as young as he is. Russell finds Reeves. 
Shoots from 12. Russell, no luck. Houston's gotten just two of six to fall from three-point range so far in the first. Now the Lakers on the break. Reeves with it. Now Green defending. Outside, James. Trains it from beyond the arc. James has got 16 points. You know, what's so impressive to me is the defense is trying to make adjustments, but LeBron's making even quicker reads. That's his IQ at work. Right now, let's send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Kevin, thanks. Jalen Green has shown he's capable of carrying a team offensively. He said, it feels good knowing that my teammates believe in me to do that. I've had to learn a lot of things to grow, but that's what I work for. I want to be one of those guys that you give the ball to in crunch time. Kevin, I always want to give the mic to you in crunch time. Back to you. Oh, David, you are an unselfish playmaker, and I appreciate that. By the way, green can be electric and so fun to watch. Hey, D.A., thanks for the Rockets. Shengun's checked in for Jabari Smith. Green comes in for Jalen Green. And Shepard subbed in for Fred Van Vliet. And Los Angeles will go for a different look here. Anthony Davis is checked in for James. Connect comes in for Rui Hachimura. Christie's checked in for Austin Reed. And it's Gabe Vincent in for D'Angelo Russell. Greg, as you were saying, beyond the blocks, what makes Anthony Davis special on defense is the way he navigates the floor. Kevin, most bigs can get picked on in pick and roll action. Davis, though, too quick and smart to take advantage of. He can slip screens, hedge, switch, and recover like he's a 3 and D wing. And so it's Houston with it after the basket by the Lakers. Here's Shepard. A three-pointer is right on target. This is what had scouts eyeing Shepard early on, his ability to shoot with range. Benson with it. Pass to Davis. Over Shengu. Again, the Lakers. With that great length and quickness off the floor, Davis rising above to knock it down from mid range. Shengu with the ball. Here's Thompson, defended by Christie. Here's Shepard. Pocket six. Shengun with the screen for Shepard. Over Vincent. And it's Shepard missing. Lakers leading by six. Pass to Christie. Now Vincent. Davis with a screen on Thompson. Here's Vincent. Well, good with the triple. Houston's gone three to seven from three point range in the first quarter. To the wing on the left. Thompson passes to Green. Now Whitmore. Shepard with the ball. And that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. They've been playing some ferocious defense. Back to the action in just a minute. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Lakers. The defense has been giving them plenty of mid-range jumpers, and they've been making them pay for that mistake. They've out-hustled the opponent so far in this one. A lot of points in the open floor, and that's giving them the advantage. Rockets trail by six. So the Lakers five right now. On the block, it's Vanderbilt and Davis. Christie is out there with Gabe Vincent, and it's Reddish in at the three spot. Working that pick and roll action superbly. Shangun knows exactly where he needs to be. Here's Vincent. It's Davis on the wing. That one's not going to go. Great defense that time from Shangun. Thompson passes to Shepard. 
Shangun with the screen for Shepard. Nailed from three-point land. Shepard's got six. Shepard. Taking charge in the pick and roll. Shepard using the screen and finding his spot. Christie the pass to Reddish. Nice passing here by Los Angeles. Oh. Woo -hoo. It's clear that Davis loves to put on the show for the fans and Putting on the show is exactly what he's doing. Here's Shepard, defended by Vincent. Thompson surveying the floor. Here's Shengun, and Shengun throws it down. How about the bounce ability of Shengun getting himself way up there? Davis sets a screen. Loads it up for Davis. Shangun with the rebound. shangun has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's Shepard. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. And it's Davis with the ball for the Los Angeles Lakers. From 11 feet away... That doesn't go either for Davis. Houston's gone one or two on three corners here in the second quarter so far. Here's Shepard. Oh, the block shot grabs it out of the air. To the left side wing. Releases. The shot's good from Christie. For years, it seemed like the league was going to go smaller. But lately, Greg, it seems like size is back in fashion. Yeah, I mean, look at the MVP award, right? Centers in Jokic and MB winning it recently. Even Giannis, you know, I wouldn't consider him small. And just overall around the NBA, it feels like bigger teams are having more success. Here's Christie. Now, Vincent. It's stolen by Shepard. The finish. And finished off by Shepard. He is a really good athlete. Give Shepard a launching pad, and he will not turn it down. Vincent, the pass to Christie. There's the screen. In the corner, Vanderbilt with it. It's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. Great instincts from him to get a hand on that pass and tip it out. And, you know, even though they didn't come up with the steal, that's still a nice defensive play. Dylan Brooks, he's checked in for the Rockets. Jackson Hayes, he's checked in for the Lakers. Six to shoot. On the wing, Vincent's shot is good. Vincent's got his second bucket. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Pass to Whitmore. Here's Shepard, defended by Vincent. Shangun, the shot, no good. Davis with some nice D. To the inside. Again, Los Angeles. And, and just a step ahead of the D in that possession there, making the pass nice assist. Shepard with the ball. Eight points for him. Drains it with the D all over him. Shingun's got six points in the quarter. There are very few guys that can hit those type of shots. Here's Vincent. Outside, Davis. Over Shingun. And it's Davis missing. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. To me, it appears he's starting to lose his composure a little bit. We'll see if he can regroup and get back into a better rhythm. Now, here's Thompson. They trail by three. Just his first attempt. No good off the front iron. For Los Angeles, they've gone four of eight so far here in the second quarter. Loads it up for Davis, and it's Davis with the jam. There's no stopping that. A.D. is too long and strong to bother that alley-oop. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. To the paint. Here's Shengu. Great tee that time from Davis. 
Los Angeles leading by five. One thing about the Lakers, Clark, over the last couple seasons, <laughs> they get themselves to the free throw line. Yeah, and a lot of that is due to the fact they've got some real creators in their lineup, guys who can attack off the dribble at multiple positions from multiple angles, and that creates pressure for the defense. Here's Christie, down low, and stolen by Shangu. Thompson with it, and it's Reddish picking him up. And it's good for two. And Whitmore, a beast inside because of his power and ability to elevate. Now, Vincent. Pass to Reddish. Davis with a screen on Brooks. Four on the shot clock. Reddish kicks to Davis. Over Shangu. And it's Davis missing. He gets trailed by five. Whitmore with it. He's guarded by Davis. Over in the corner, Shepard. Shangu with the ball. Now here's Brooks. It's good from long range. Oh, spacing the floor. Brooks is comfortable shooting it from deep. And J.J. Reddick calls timeout here. He wants a minute here to get things straightened out with his team. Adams, he's checked in for Shengu. Tari Eason comes in for Whitmore. Green, he's checked in for Amen Thompson. And it's Fred Van Vliet in for Shepard. And Los Angeles will go for a different look here. James checked in for Anthony Davis. Hachimura comes in for Reddish. Austin Reeves is checked in for Christie. And it's Russell in for Vincent. Russell dishes to Hayes. Chimura kicks to Russell. The Lakers moving the ball around. Pass to Hachimura. The three ball. And the three ball is good. And the Lakers lead by five. And we know Hachimura has a confident personality. You see it there with the rise and fire approach. Nice. Now here's Green. Takes it inside. It's good. It's his second basket. He's shooting two for four. One of Green's primary attributes, speed. And when he combines that speed with staying under control, that's a problem. He's with it. Adams defending. Reeves outside. Trying to find Hatchimura. Gets it to him. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. Van Vliet against Russell. Eason with it. Still yet to score. Steps back and fights. That one's good. The Laker lead is cut down now to just three on the bucket from Van Vliet. And I like Van Vliet's shot selection. Terrific at looking to score when he sees the opportunity. Here's Hachimura. The shot comes out. Nice D from Brooks. Houston's gone two for five from three-point land since the end of the first. Inside. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. Christian Woods checked in for the Lakers. Number 35, Christian Woods. Lakers leading by three. And here is James. 16 points for him. Three-pointer. It's hauled in by Adams. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Pass to Brooks. Kicks it out to Van Vliet. He nails it. And we're tied up. Van Vliet's got 10 points in the game. And count on Van Vliet to hit that three-point shot. He's an efficient scorer from beyond the arc. And so it's Russell with it. He brings it up for the Lakers. Well, Clark, we hear a lot about the antics with Brooks. 
but he deserves more attention for his play. I agree, especially on the defensive end, Kevin. He's one of the top perimeter defenders in the league, and some of what his antics are flowing out of is his competitive spirit. I still think he needs to tamp down the annex because that does take away from what he does, which is lock guys up and play with great competitive spirit all the time. Eason against LeBron. And Wade sets the pick for Eason. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. Russell passes to Hachimura. And the dunk by Hachimura. And proving to be effective around the rim. Hachimura leaving no doubt about that one. Russell against Van Vliet. Out to Brooks. Launches it. Good. And Van Vliet gets the assist. He's got six. Could have been much better defense. I mean, you can't give this guy any room to operate. LeBron outside. Pass to Reeves. Takes the three. From range, LeBron is good. That's a big turnaround right there. LeBron answering right back with the three. He knows momentum is in the balance, and he wants it to swing his way. Brooks against Hachimura. Now here's Brooks. Six points for him. Outside, green, and on the clock. It's up a three, and it's Brooks. That time on the assist from green. Brooks has got nine points in the quarter. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Houston in the lead. Green finds Van Vliet. Adams with it. Brooks outside. Green taking his time here. Adams with the screen on Reeves. Here's Green. Adams controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And now it's a three-point Houston lead. They have to put a body on Adams. He's too good of an offensive rebounder to not pay attention. Pass to Wood. Now James. LeBron slashes inside. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. And his percentage at the line the last season, right at the 75% mark. First one drops. So for the Rockets. Shengun's checked in for Adams. And Smith's subbed in for Tari Eason. The Lakers also with a sub. Davis is checked in. And both free throws good for LeBron. And for Houston, they're shooting it pretty well, close to 50%. Van Vliet against Russell. Van Vliet outside. Four seconds left. It's good. Van Vliet's got the lead up to three now for the Rockets. And a close game so far through the first two quarters as we reach out. Rockets lead by three. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks a lot. LeBron, what adjustments did they make to slow you guys down in the second quarter? I um, mean, it's a good team. It's a really good team. And they executed in the second quarter, made shots, and uh, got to a rhythm. So. We'll see who wins the second half. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you, and stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started.
And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. What can you say, LeBron James? What an impressive effort today. Yeah, he's just been raining down on him from deep here. Talk about dialed in. Well, you know, the stroke looks fantastic. Even when he's had a hand in his face, it hasn't affected him at all. The forwards for him will be Brooks and Smith. At the guard positions, Van Fleet and Green. And it's Shingun in at the five down low. And that's the group in there for Ime Udoka as we begin the second half. Shot clock at six. And it's Green missing. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. And Clark, the Rockets, just one of a handful of franchises to win back-to-back -back NBA titles. Can you believe that, Kevin? It was roughly 30 years ago that the Rockets did that, led by Hakeem Olajuwon, perhaps the best player in the league at that time. Of course, this was while Michael Jordan was retired from the NBA the first time. He's so good at creating his own shot. He's just got an endless supply of moves. LeBron James. Pass to Van Vliet. Here he goes. To the paint. Here's Shengu. And off the left side of the rim. And it swirls in for him. That's 12 points for Shengu. Lakers trail by three. James kicks to Davis. For the tie. And LeBron gets it to go with the assist by Russell. LeBron's got 26. He's become so comfortable from long range. That shot's now a weapon for LeBron. Here's Shengu. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Second that one on Davis. And Clark for the Lakers. Their last two seasons ended in playoff losses to the Denver Nuggets. And I tell you what, they fought hard both times, Kevin. The point differential was only 24 points over the four games in 2023 and just 11 points in 2024. L.A. actually led most of the five-game series but weren't able to advance. The free throw dropped for Shangu. Shangu hits them both. Just a little over 90 seconds gone in the third quarter. Outside, Russell. Davis looking for an opening. And it's the Rockets on the break. Here's Brooks. Makes it off the glass. Brooks has got the lead up to four now for the Rockets. Oh, the balance Brooks has is impressive. Able to work through the defense and still capitalize. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Kevin, the Rockets are making progress. Coach Ime Udoka said it doesn't happen overnight. Changing habits and things like that takes time. Guys learn and grow at a different pace. My thing is getting us all on the same page. We're not that far off. Kevin, they sure look like they're building in the right direction. David, they are. And some good vets have helped as well. And we thank you for that report. And I tell you what, AD is able to brush off those defenders with ease because of how strong he is. That's what they call weight room. Now, here's Shangu. He's got 14. Brooks outside. Van Vliet outside. Brooks misses. Lakers trail by four. Davis up top, guarded by Green. From about 19 feet, it's rebounded by Houston. Smith's got six rebounds here tonight. Back to Van Vliet. And some nice passing there by Houston. And stolen by LeBron. Outside, Davis over Green. 
And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. Now just a two-point rocket lead. Smith outside. Another miss by Houston. And so it's Hachimura who brings up the ball for Los Angeles. For the tie, and again it's the Lakers. From mid-range, LeBron really dialed in. You can't think you're safe giving him those shots. Outside, Green. That ball, great assist by Van Vliet. Green's got seven points in the game. That is not enough coverage. Got to do better than that defensively. Basically, no coverage. I mean, defense did not look very good there. And J.J. Redick is called timeout. He wants to check in with his team and regroup. Vanderbilt's checked in for LeBron. Lakers trail by three. Here's Reeves. Pass to Davis. Let's it go with a three. Rebound by Smith. Smith's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Here's Brooks. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And there's a flexibility to Brooks's game. He can play a specific role for you, or he can be a high usage guy. Really depends on what a team needs from night to night. The first free throw is good. And no matter what, one of the big positives they can take away from this game is how well they perform at the line. So one for two that time at the strike. Lakers trail by four. Pass to Vanderbilt. And here is Hachimura. Now Vanderbilt still scoreless. Pocket six. Davis picks to Russell. Launches a three. Hits the three-point bomb. You know, with good form, a quick release, and a nice feel, Russell's comfortable in catch-and-shoot situations. Brooks against Hachimura. Pass to Van Vliet. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Van Vliet's got 17. Russell against Van Vliet. Hachimura with it. Puts it up from seven. Shangun with the rebound. shangun has got his sixth rebound on the night. Outside, Green. Pass to Van Vliet. Over Reeves. And again, the Rockets good for two. And the stroke of Van Vliet is so nice, proving once again why he's so valuable to this team. Here's Hachimura. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. He's got nine. And you got to love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grind it out game. Reeves against Green. Van Vliet looking around. And they call an illegal screen here. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was 40 years ago. Amen Thompson, he's checked in for Dylan Brooks. And it's Russell missing. Houston leading by four. Over in the corner, Green. Over Christie. 
Here's Smith, and that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. Well, and smart play by Smith. Using that build to get in there and just timeout, fight timeout. for the rebound and the finish. And J.J. Redick is called timeout. Looking for a breather and maybe just one or two things to talk about. To the inside and it's Davis with the jam well I tell you what the big guy knows how to do that throw it down and it's Van Vliet with the ball for Houston they lead by four the time for the ball Smith the pass to Shengu back to Smith and here's Van Vliet from the arc the offensive rebound and what a play just snatched out of the air credit the block to the middle. Vanderbilt inside. Covered by Smith. Vanderbilt kicks to Russell. Five on the clock. Back to Vanderbilt. And the dunk by Vanderbilt. Orchestrating the offense like a vet. D'Angelo getting everybody involved. Houston's gone two of five with a three-point shot since coming out of the break. Well, there's no question, and he welcomes this, but Anthony Davis shoulders a heavy load on the defensive end. And he should, and he does. I mean, he's a true anchor. He protects the rim. He can guard out on the perimeter. He communicates well. He's got an excellent basketball IQ. And he's a guy that can cover up a lot of mistakes from his teammates. Vanderbilt finds Davis over Shangu. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. You know, the right thing there to try to fade away with the B all over, but that is a difficult shot to see. Smith, the pass to Shengu. It's good, the assist that time from Smith. And it's a six-point rocket lead. Shengu, a force in the lane. That's where he does most of his damage. Hachimura, the screen. Here's Russell. Misses off the left eye. Rocket shooting is still at 60% since the halftime break. For three, Van Vliet, and it's good. He's made two for every one he's missed. 10 of 15 in the contest. Not surprised at all. He's shooting it well and scoring points in budgets. Now, here is Russell. He has five. Hachimura setting the pick for Russell. Shoots over Van Vliet. That one's in there. The rocket lead is cut down now to just seven on the basket from Russell. You know, we've talked about the stroke before. The repeatable motion that Russell has. I'm trying to find that with my golf swing, fellas. Because of his stroke, though, he can be rough if he gets locked in. Here's Smith. Nine points in the game so far. Here's Thompson. And the shot falls short this time. Lakers trail by seven. Christie the pass to Russell. Christie against Green. Christie kicks to Hachimura. Down low. It's tipped. It's stolen by Green. Hachimura against Thompson. From deep, Green. And another three for Houston. And a moment here to take a look at some of the hustle stats for Houston. I like the fact that they've been very aggressive at the defensive end. Tenacious. They're jumping passing lanes and coming away with a lot of steals. And also, guys, they push the ball and been able to score in transition. Trying to take advantage of playing in the open floor as often as possible. Also, no good. Boy, I'm absolutely shocked he didn't get that one to go. Usually, he's money from deep. Blade kicks to Smith. Houston moving the ball around. Shengu passes it to Thompson. And Thompson throws it down. He's got a rocket ship like takeoff. Thompson can flat out fly. There's 117 left to play here in the third. Pass to Davis. Now here is Hetchimura. He's covered by Thompson. 
And that one's good. Hachimura. You have to push Hachimura out of there if you're the defense. He's a real problem on the interior. Van Vliet against Russell. Now that one from Van Vliet. Van Vliet's got the lead up to 12 now for the Rockets. Los Angeles has gotten a three-point bug tonight. They've taken 15 shots outside the arc. Six of 15 to the left wing. Hachimura against Thompson. Just four to shoot. Out to Russell. Fires the three. Rebound by Smith. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Van Vliet with it. 26 points for him. And it's blocked. And so the ball's out of bounds. Hachimura touches it last. And now let's take a look again at that incredible rejection. And that has got to help the morale of this team. Let's see if that sets up a run here. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. Guys, it's been all about Fred Van Vliet for the Houston Rockets. He's up to 26 points in the game now. Just keeps pouring in the buckets. Right back after this break. quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. Lakers trail by 12. And on the court for the Lakers to start the fourth. Cameron Reddish is out there with Jackson Hayes. Then there's Christie. Then it's Gabe Vincent. And it's Davis at center locking down the middle. Christie. And with that one, the lead is trimmed to single digits. It's been like this all night for both teams. The offenses having their way. Any lull in the action so far has been short-lived because there have been nothing but buckets in this one. Now, here's Thompson. Pass to Whitmore. Just five to shoot. Here's Green. And Davis sends it back. Expert timing by Davis on the block. Right when the ball was at his apex, he got it. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, ba the basket, guys, still shaking. Well, I tell you what, he loaded up as much power as he could behind that two man. From deep green, Christie with the rebound. Lakers trail by seven. Pass to Davis. Here's Vincent, covered by Van Vliet. This one for three. Offensive rebound. Here's Christie. Back to Davis. Here's Christie. He's covered by Thompson. The shot's good from Christie. Well, they left it until the fourth quarter, but finally the run they needed to get back into this. I didn't think it was going to happen for them, quite honestly, but they finally turned it on, turned it up a little bit. Now they've got to come up with some stops. Here's Whitmore following the three. Oh, oh man, when Cam Whitmore throws it down, you feel bad for the rim. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. Here's Vincent. 
Pass to Reddish. Over Brooks. A shot by Reddish, no good. Rockets leading by six. Thompson outside. Back to Whitmore. Green with a screen for Whitmore. A three-pointer, no good. Lakers have gone three of seven from the floor in the fourth. That's a 42% mark in the quarter. Reddish kicks to Davis. It's stolen by Green. Driving the lane. And the lack of Green is a real issue for the dude. His arms just go forever, which often results in a lot of shooting fouls for him. No good on the free throw. Steven Adams, he's checked in for Thompson. Russell, he's checked in for the Lakers. He hits the second from the line. Lakers trail by seven. Here's Christie. Fires for three. And D'Angelo Russell with the three. Well, uh, they're getting stops. And they're attacking on the offensive. You know, it's taken a big run, but they were able to get back into this one. Very impressive. No quit in these guys. Now here's Van Vliet. They kick it out to Green. And Adams with the slam. There it is, guys. One of those effort plays that makes a big difference in the game. And, G.A., it is definitely making a difference so far today. But, you know, if you're not going to take care of the defensive glass, it's going to be hard to come away with the win. Here's Russell. The Rockets making the shot. Davis working in the paint. When he's at his best, Davis is in attack mode, getting to that rim and playing with power down low. And here's Brooks. Van Vliet outside. Six to shoot. And Adams with the basket on the assist from Van Vliet. Adams has got four points this quarter. Outside, Russell. Davis with a screen on Van Vliet. Bounce pass, Russell. Here's Davis. That shot is off. Adams, a nice D. Here's Whitmore. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That one on Davis. And when you watch Whitmore, he's much bigger than your average wing. Creates a different type of matchup. First one falls. Houston making some changes. Shen Goon's checked in for Steven Adams. Smith comes in for Jeff Green. And it's Green in for Fred Van Vliet. James checked in for Los Angeles. James comes in for Reddish. And both free throws good for Whitmore. Now, here's James. Pass to Russell. There's the triple. It's rebounded by Shengun. Shengun's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Christie against Brooks. The train. The Rockets again can't hit. Lakers trail by eight. James looking around. Pass to Christie. Now, here is Russell. 
over Green. They get it again. Kicks it out to LeBron. And again, the Lakers no good. Rockets leading by eight. Green in the post. Russell's there. And Green gets it to go. Green finds ways to get it done inside. Really intelligent as a score. Russell passes to LeBron. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. LeBron's got 31. I tell you what, what a good thing that he showed up today because without him, this thing would already be over. Brooks outside. shang finds Green. And that one, good. Green's got 10 points in just the second half. No wasted motion or hesitation there. Green ready to shoot as soon as he caught it. Here's LeBron, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. We passed year 20 for LeBron James. But Clark, how is he still doing this? Well, I'd love to find out, but he's got a combination of remarkable DNA and obviously a tremendous work ethic and attention to detail and taking care of his body. But some of it is, it's a blend of um, good fortune and a lot of hard work. But he's played at a level at his age that I never thought I'd see in basketball. It's different in other sports, but to do what he's doing on the court is amazing. Tate, he's checked in for the Rockets. Fred Van Vliet comes in for Whitmore. And then for the Lakers, Christian Woods checked in for Jackson Hayes. Hachimura comes in for Christie, And it's Austin Reeves in for James. And he sinks the second. And it's Van Fleet with the ball for the Houston Rockets. Outside, Green. Pass to Tate. Houston moving the ball around. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. Hachimura grabs the miss. Lakers trail by eight. Outside, Russell. James outside. Over Smith. And that one's good. James. LeBron's got six here in this quarter. That defense has to worry so much about LeBron as a passer that it opens things up for his jump shot. Van Vliet passes to Tate. And here is Van Vliet. Pass to Shengun. With the fadeaway. And falls. Great assist by Van Vliet. Van Vliet's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Lakers have gone 7 to 15 from the floor here in the fourth, right around 46 47 percent. Now, Hachimura. Reeves finds James. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three point play chance here for him. Spender gets caught in a bad position there. LeBron, so powerful, powerful enough to convert through contact. The Rockets making a switch here. Brooks checked in. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. And Anthony Davis is checked in for Christian Wood. One shot. Free throw good, LeBron. Rockets leading by five. Now Green. Shengun with a screen on Reed. From deep Green. They get it back. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First smart move by Shengun. Sticking with the shot through the foul inside. Free throw missing. Oh, 
Good on the second free throw. Here's LeBron. On the wing, Reeves. It's rebounded by Houston. Shingun's got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. And bleed on the wing. Outside, Green. Shingun with the screen for Green. Shoots. The Rockets with another miss. Lakers trail by six. Pass to Reeves. Back to LeBron. James with a powerful jam. Assistant. Never gets old seeing LeBron explode off the floor like that. Van Vliet with it. He's picked up by Russell. Van Vliet passes to Green. And falls. Great assist by Van Vliet. Van Vliet's got his eighth assist in the game. Russell finds Reeves. Russell sets a screen for Reeves. Pass to Davis. Back to Reeves. Four on the clock. Looking to get back on track here. And again, it's the Lakers. And that's right in his wheelhouse. Looking to make an impact when it counts. You know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. Now here's Van Vliet. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That one on Davis. Green's activity on offense is something I really appreciate. Because of that, I think he makes the defense typically commit fouls. Free throw drops for Green. Boy, I believe Green has all the tools to be a phenomenal scorer in this league. Just needs to continue to develop. He hits both from the strike. Lakers trail by seven. James looking around. James throws it down. There is no doubt about who they were going to on that one. Of course not. LeBron coming through. Brooks outside. Back to Van Vliet. Shen Goon with a screen on Russell. Right on the clock. Count that one from Van Vliet. And expect smart plays like that from Van Vliet. He is a clever floor general who knows how to create. Oh, man. oh my! What a play! Uh -huh. oh, he is a highlight reel unto himself, guys. Uh, that could be a contender for the dunk of the year, I think. Without question, a crowd pleaser to the tenth degree. Oh, here's Van Vliet. They double team Shengu. Smith for three. Anthony Davis grabs the miss. And so it's Davis bring the ball up for Los Angeles. To the middle. A putback. It's good on the putback. Now just a three-point rocket lead. Poise under pressure to produce at the right time in the big time. A deep. And Vliet gets to Smith. There's Van Vliet on the assist by Smith. 30 points for Fred Van Vliet. And how about the leadership there from Van Vliet? Ready to put this team on his back and give them that crucial buck. Now here's James. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Jabari Smith picks one up. Drop 
takes the first one, and that shrinks the margin to just four. on the second. That misses. Tough miss at this juncture. They're down two baskets right now. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. And J.J. Reddick is called timeout. The magnitude at this juncture in the game clearly warranting a timeout. time to check in from the sideline. They got for us, D.A. Hey, guys, J.J. Reddick's message with his team was simple. The coach told his players, hey, they're feeling the pressure over there. Keep pressing. Keep fighting. They're starting to crack. Well, let's get this game even. Guys? All right, thank you, David. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. You know what? That's a confidence shaker for him, though. I mean, that's a shot he expects to make every time. Now, here is Smith, and so they foul intentionally. Good on the first, and that puts them up by five. So both free throws are good. It's a six-point ball game. Those are critical foul shots. Love to see him knock them down there. And J.J. Reddick calls timeout here. Clearly, he's got something his players need to hear. And immediately. Seven seconds left to play here in the fourth. Here's LeBron. Smith with some nice deep and an intentional foul right there. Second personal foul. Team is in the penalty. First one drops, and that makes it a seven-point lead. A darn good free-throw shooter. Smith doesn't seem to have a weak spot coming into the lead. So he gets them both, and it's an eight-point game. The Lakers with the ball. Pass to Hachimura. Shoots the three. Rebound by Smith. So we see the Rockets get the win here. A confident win, and one where they clearly showed the greater effort. Yeah, I mean, it was a solid performance, uh, particularly here at home. Uh, I think they built off that edge of being here and, and played with just a little more confidence than their opponent. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. And as we leave you, we give you our player of the game, Fred Van Vliet.